We are Team Thor, Tactical Hazardous Operations Robots, and we are composed with Virginia Tech, the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory, and Grass Lab from University of Pennsylvania, and the Harris Corporation, and the company Robotis. So we developed two robots for the DRC task. One is Thor, the other one is Thor OP. We developed a new series elastic actuators that uses titanium strings. So the easy way to think of it is like compliant artificial muscle, so to speak. The past 30 years, our robotics has tried to get rid of compliance or springiness. We want to have a rigid, accurate motion for assembly tasks and those kind of things. But now we're trying to under starting to understand from biology that compliance or springiness is very important for bipedal walking. So if successful, this technology will change uh, the game. Uh, this technology will enable to uh, for bipedal robots to walk on very, very uneven terrain. So it's a new technology that we're trying for the first time. On the other hand, Thor OP, we developed Thor OP as a research platform, and that's what you see over there. Uh, because we're running out of time, Thor will not be competition ready for the 2013 trials, but we're gonna be featuring in the 2014 DRC task. Thor OP, on the other hand, is gonna be used for this year's trials. We're not new to these kind of big competitions. Uh, we participated in the 2007 DARPA Urban Challenge and our team placed third place. Also, we are three-time world champions in the autonomous humanoid robot soccer RoboCup. So there's a lot of actually expectations how we're gonna be doing in a DRC task. So of course, winning is important. There is a big uh, reward waiting for us and everything, but we're not really doing this for winning the money. We're really into this competition to develop new technology that will be able to save people's life in the future. If the technology that we're developing through this competition can save even one person's life in the future, then everything's worth it.